Okay, so here's a quick update. I didn't realize I was going to be doing a video on this, but it looks like I am. This is the Quick Shot Super Warrior that I got new old stock, as you remember. Um, and as you might remember, I couldn't get the throttle working properly. So I just thought, well, I had some time, I'd have a bit of a play. Wasn't actually um, <laughs> planning on making a video about it. But hey, look, might as well, um, because what we've got here I actually thought this might be potentiometer based or something, or you know, or, you know, like a mouse um, uh, photo transistors, whatever they're called. Um, anyway, um, but it's not. It's simple variable resistor um, is what we got here. So what I've just done is I've just sort of sprayed some isopropanol inside that and sort of over it, um, and just sort of then sort of worked the mechanism. And on the software, that didn't seem to be making any difference, um, but obviously it's good to clean. Um, and keep in mind, this was new old stock. So this is literally just where it's just been sitting on a shelf for 20 odd years. Um, and then I gave it a spray with the nozzle, um, with the, with the uh, good old air duster or can of air. All while plugged in, by the way, because I'm lazy. So watch this red bar um, when I twist this all the way down all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. So that appears to be working. So I'm gonna put the joystick back together, um, try it again in the calibration software, then we'll fly up Microsoft Fly Simulator and see what it does. Okay, in the greatest tradition of this uh, channel, I've lost a screw. <laughs> of course, one fell out here. That'll turn up somewhere. Uh, but let's calibrate the joystick and see how we go. Send to your joystick. I'm just gonna put that down. Send to your joystick and press a button. Move it around the range and press a button. And confirm, and now let's do the throttle. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? All the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Press a button and finish. All right, let's see if Microsoft Flight Simulator is happy. Okay, so we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Before we kick off, found the screw. <laughs> so, in fact, let's just plonk that back in before we lose it again, shall we? No springs or screws were actually lost in the making of this video, which is fantastic. Right. And is brake on? I don't know. Can't see it. Throttle up. Oh, brake must be on. How do I turn my brake off? Can't remember. Oh, it's period. It's telling me on the screen. Full stop. Period. You don't stop things moving with a pit. Oh, maybe you do. Um, Sorry about the joystick being in the dark, but uh, not enough speed. It's three o'clock. Sorry about this area being a mess. Like I said, wasn't planning on making a thing. There we go, and I can kill the throttle all the way down. Oh, fantastic. Probably not so fantastic if you don't want to stall. So we should now be able to land, which I couldn't do last time. So we'll go about half throttle, and I'm gonna put the flaps down a little bit. Put the gear down, flaps down a bit more. I'm way too high, way, way too high. I've dropped the throttle right back. This is not good. This is not good. Why isn't the nose going down? Get that nose down. Brakes are on. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> We're off the runway. <laughs> Oh yeah.
Well, anyway, the throttle works, which means this is fixed, which I'm very happy about, which means, I guess, we have to see what this is like on a, another video in the future. Oh, <laughs> I crashed. This will be better. All right, cheers.